Well, hello, welcome to my channel. A quick tech review, a quick tech, tech review. Well, I just dropped my phone. Don't worry about that phone. These, these were sent to me from an Amazon company. I will put a link below and I do have an habit of chucking stuff up and down. Um, these are like copies of them Apple ear things. What are they called? Ear buds. Whatever them Apple ones are, they're about 80, 90 quid. These are like a copy. These are like a cheap copy of them. Um, these were sent to me to have a look at, have a little test, have a play, have a listen to them. Um, and that's them there. Just like that. Here they are. Let's put one in so we can just see what it looks like. And I can look like that. Um, I'm talking louder because they are cutting out a little bit. of And they're not on, but they've got that noise reduction thing whatever it is and as soon as i put one in i could tell let's go to that quick close-up unboxing and look what we're going to get in the box of these these are like 20 pounds on amazon 20 pounds when you're paying 80 odd quid there they are when you're paying 80 odd quid 20 pound is you, you have to think about it you have to think oh let's have a look see what they like for 20 quid let's go to the quick close-up unboxing come back i'll test out the sand and I'll try to explain the sound and the noises I'm hearing. And if I have any other issues with these, because I've been using these for about a day and a half, I will let you know. And I will stop chucking things up and down and I will get my phone and sort out the Bluetooth. See you in a second. Here we go. These were sent to me from a company from Amazon. They are Apple Pod kind of copies, but we're going to see if they're any good. These are them Apple Pods. You know them Apple Pods are really expensive. These are like a copy that are selling on Amazon. I'm sure they there's no legal issues. I'm sure they know what they're doing, this company, but I don't know. That's not for me to say. It does come in a range of colours. Uh, red, green, rose, gold that looks purple, and black and white. They've sent me the white ones. These are the i7S Mini TWS. True wireless stereo, and they work with Android, iPod, I guess, and Apple phones iOS and Android devices. I should have just read that. Let's see what we're going to get in this kind of Apple Pod copies. So they're, they're in there. Let's see what else we're going to get. We're going to get a, a USB charging cable. And we're going to get some instruction manuals just there. That, uh, is there any English on this? Um, yeah, there probably is some English. And it's just telling you a bit about it there. Have a look through them if you get stuck. So it's going to come in this little charging box with a light there and a light there that's how you charge the charging box flick it open and there's your little earbuds right there and then you just pull them out and that's them there i've not got any of them apple pods so do these look like them i'm guessing they do i'm guessing they're they're almost identical aren't they um, there is a button there that's how you connect it you just hold this button in and it will flash I think red and red and blue and now it's searching for a Bluetooth device and it'll be the same on this one now I've got little buttons so I think you could use them individually or paired up so there's some there it all it all comes down to the uh, the sand test of these if they sand all right and they're a lot cheaper these are like 20 pounds on Amazon I will stick stick a, a link below um, we'll see what these are like We'll see what these are like. There's nothing else in the box. I'm going to connect them to me device and have a listen just to see what they are like. And these Apple Pod things. And that's the box there. Just show you they go back in. And when you put them back in, I believe they will just automatically charge. Um, I put in the wrong one there. Just like that. And just like that. Close it up. And I'm guessing... I'm guessing they're going to charge. Right, we're back. We're back. I've picked up my phone. I've got, um, you can't really play music, can you? Get all that copyright business. But I've got my podcast listed there. Can you see it's green as well? So that's back, that's green. Everything is green. So you probably, I seem to do everything green. And it, it interferes when you've got a green screen. Anyway. Right, so let's open these up. Oh, what I will say, let's go over the pros and cons because I've been using this. What I will say. Hello, welcome oh. to season two, episode four. I had that of ready. I had that ready. Come. Couldn't even pause it. The back of this phone's so slippery. I can't. What I will say, a few things that I have noticed. 
they connect really fast. They like connect really fast to your phone. But before we test these out, let's go over the pros and cons, what I've noticed in the time I've been using them. Let's start with the cons, the, the stuff. But you've got to remember, you're only paying £20, so you have to accept some of these things. It feels rather cheap. There's no getting around the bush. It's all the unboxing, but this case does feel rather cheap. The pods inside, are these called pods? I don't know. These things, these feel really cheap as well. It's got kind of that cheap plasticky feel to them. They're very cheap. They feel quite secure. They don't feel like they're going to snap, but they do feel quite cheap. It's not. It's hard to say they ain't well built because they are quite well built. They're, all, they're exactly like the probably identical mould to the Apple ones. Um, just there's a cheapness feel to the plastic that's if you feel these and if you know what cheap plastic feels like you'll understand what i mean it's just a cheapness feel to the plastic it charges up pretty well you just charge it there it's just micro usb it's got a little light there see it's a little blue light i don't know if you can see that but there's a blue light telling me i've got a bit of charge in the case and you can just about see through the case that these are on two red lights so it's giving them a bit of a charge that's all good you open it up they do connect really quick so let's go over the pros they flick out like that. They do connect really quick. Like so, as soon as you, if if you ain't connect these to your device yet, you just literally push the button on each. It will flash red and blue. When it's flashing red and blue, you just put your Bluetooth on. Look for TWS, I believe it was. When you found that TWS, you click it. It's connected. You're done. Now every time you open them and put them on and turn them on, you're ready to go with these. And and that's them there. And for twenty quid, I know they feel cheap and they they have a look a cheapness look. When you got them in. I'm probably going to talk louder now. When you've got them in, I reckon someone would need a keen eye to know that these ain't the real McCoys. You'd need a keen eye because you can't even tell. You can't tell from that distance. But it all comes down to that. The sand test. It all's going to come down to the sand test. The look, the feel and everything is irrelevant if they sand absolutely useless. And I've got to say, they ain't actually too bad. They ain't too bad. Just a quick overall of the sand. I find them they need a little bit more bass. It needs a little bit more bass. Apart from that, the loudness, the volume, everything, that is all fine. I have no issues with none of that. So let's just, I'm just going to play a bit of a latest podcast I've done. So you can hear it there. And I thought, I'm just going to As soon as I press that button. I'm just going to ask, don't ask, don't get. I normally don't get if I ask, but I, I put thought that in I'd there. Ask. I phoned them up, hit boys people. I said, well, we do this little podcast. Does boys want to come on it? Connected. It's just said connected. So that's turn the Bluetooth on my phone. And we're coming through. We are coming through. Can you hear that? See? So they are literally playing. And I'm listening to it. And the sand is good on both of them. Either one, they both sound pretty much the same. For £20, honestly, these are really not too bad. You could do a lot worse. And they stay in, they feel a bit, they feel snug. They do feel sug, snug, they feel secure, look at that. Right, for 20 quid, you're going to be hard pushed, I think, to buy a better, better pair of these knockoff. Well, you might be able to, I don't know. But from Amazon, for 20 quid, they're still playing. In a little case, they're still playing. And maybe I'll push that. And I've gone off. They've gone off, they've realised they're in their box, they've gone off, they're really not too shabby for 20 quid. I will put a link below. Remember to subscribe to this channel if you want to. And that's these knockoff Apple Pods. They're all right. For 20 quid, they're all right. If you can't afford, right, you've got to think this, if you can't afford the 80, 90 pound, whatever Apple are charging, ridiculous price for the, for the official ones, and you just want a pair, you want to fit in, just pay 20 quid and get these. It's as simple as that. You won't even, no one will probably notice. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself and I'm going to give these back to the daughter because she quite likes them. We had some stuff there. Before I go, I forgot what the daughter told me to say. She told me to say the battery life is not brilliant. When you're using them, they're lasting about an hour real time. They're lasting about an hour and then you put them back in there, give them a charge and this box charges them about two or three times, she says. So that's the times you're playing with. So battery is not brilliant. So that's another con.